All right, welcome back, guys. So this is episode two of my little series of the Hobie Passport. Going to put it through its paces, and what better way to have a maiden voyage than San Luis Pass Bay? I love this place because it's an easy access. You can catch fish here, and you know what? I'm trying to mimic what a recreational fisherman or angler is going to be like, as well as a recreational kayaker. I brought my family out. I got the one kayak here. Got a couple of fishing poles and live shrimp, and we are just going to take it out to the bay here, close to the shore, just like what a beginner, new angler into kayaking would do. Just to mimic and show you guys what this Hobie Passport is all about. So stay tuned, man. Here we go. Episode number two. I hope you guys were able to watch the first episode of the unboxing and unwrapping and brief walkthrough and talking about the specs. Today we got the Hobie Passport and it should be really good guys because I'm really excited. I think this, this kayak is going to make a lot of noise in the kayak fishing industry just because of the way of the price point honestly because it's it's so inexpensive and anyone um, well, I can't say anyone, but I mean, if you're looking for a low budget kayak uh, that you can take out and you don't really fish as much as I do, maybe twice a month, maybe, and you want something just to have, you know, take you out, not too far out, but uh, be able to reach the fish in the channels, look no further, man. I really think this is going to be a really cool kayak. Check it out, guys. I know you saw this on my other video, but this is the version one. Uh, Mirage Drive, either way, um, should be pretty cool. This is money, man. This is the reason why I got this Hobie Passport. Um, this is the most efficient drive, in my opinion, with all kayaks because of the way it works and the way you can flutter, keep it like this underneath the bow so it doesn't get caught up and you can use this in shallow water. You can flutter like this, like a butterfly. Um, and it's just such an efficient mechanism to pedal your kayak. Check out, check out how I got this strapped up. Only two straps, middle and front. It's so light, 65 pounds empty weight. Um, this is one of those kayaks where technically you could just grab and go. I mean, it's so convenient. I'm already loving how much it weighs and the convenient factor that you get when you purchase this passport. Look how easy this is, so light, only 65 pounds. Look at that, look how easy this is. I'm carrying it by myself without any assistance. Damn, I wish I could do that with the Outback, man, seriously. All right, look at this aluminum, aluminum uh, paddle that Hobie provides it's not going to be light as the ones that you get on the outback i guess they're fiberglass but this will do all right so this is a seat well it's not going to be as luxurious as the outback seat or even the compass but it looks pretty wide it looks pretty stable i'll lock it in here like so Clip it, I believe the clips go, let's see here. Clip, oh yeah, clip goes here, like that. There, this clip goes like that. And you can make your adjustment to, your, to the incline of it by this mechanism here. 
pretty much all set up. Let's see a drive, Joseph. Yes. Thank you. And we'll put this in here like that and launch it straight into the water. And we'll see how it handles. I think it's going to be pretty good. Low budget, low cost, beginner kayak. For you fishermen out there that really want to get into it, take a good look at these. Is it pretty comfortable? It looks pretty comfortable, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Mimic exactly what I think a beginner kayak fisherman will do. A live bait. There we go, man. This is pretty exciting. But the only knack that I have about this passport is you have to you have to uh, engage the rudder yourself. There is no pull string like the Outback and Compass. I guess they did that to cut costs. I don't know. I think it's stupid, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure some company will come up with some kind of pull string, easy do-it-yourself mechanism. Okay, here we go. Let's hop inside. Oh. Hey, not bad. Pretty roomy. <laughs> All right. Let's get the pedal or the paddle so we can get in deep water and engage the drive. And we are on our way. <laughs> this thing is um, not bad, man. I'm, it's pretty comfortable, man. I'm pretty happy. It's uh, pretty stable, too. Check this out. Really stable. The real test is uh, when I put one more person in, if I put my little boy in there, see how it works. Okay, we're deep enough. Let's go ahead and engage the drive. All right, here we go. Look at that. Boom, boy. Hey, all right, here we go. Check that out, guys. And I got dragged behind me, but it's tracking really nicely. Hey, not bad, man. Not bad at all. Look at that, dude. <laughs> first, first guy on YouTube to uh, do a maiden voyage for the passport. What do you think, guys? What do you think? We got pretty uh, pretty strong currents too, and it's really not phased at all. Granted, I'm not going as fast as I would in my Outback. I mean, that's a given. I mean, this is designed not to be used for speed per se, but I mean, it's tracking pretty nicely. Much better than the top water PDL for sure with this Mirage Drive. Mirage Drive is smooth. And the, uh, the fitting right into the, uh, the Mirage Drive slot, it's perfect. No wiggle room, nothing. Fits like a glove. Very nice. All right, let's start fishing, shall we? So I forgot my popping cork. Well, I forgot to bring one more. And I let my kids use the other one. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna kind of free line it with some split shots. See if we can get something hooked up. See if we can catch a first fish on this Hobie Passport. There we go. Oh, there we go. Got something. Yeah, finally. Nice. <laughs> nice little whiting. Look at that. First fish on the Passport. And it's a whiting. Go figure. <laughs> but I am bottom bottom fishing, so that's what I kind of expect. All right, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, check it out, guys. First fish on the Passport. It's not a game fish, but it's a fish. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Come on, fish. Oh, there we go. Something that's up. There we go. Got something. That's a nice little puller. Nice little pull there. Uh, I think he might be a small rat. Yeah, small little red. Look at that. Nice. 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 All right, buddy. Look at that, boy. On the passport. Look at that. Nice little rat red. Probably around about 16, maybe 17 inch. -er. Nah, probably about 16. Thank you, sir. Pretty impressed so far. It's doing what I thought it'd do, man. Catch fish recreationally. Uh, I would think uh, the beginner angler won't be using lures much. They'll be using live shrimp. So that's why I'm trying to mimic as much as I can a live or a, a beginner kayaker. There you go, little man. Thank you so much for the fight. All right, quick thoughts uh, before I close the video. 
Um, it's it's a pretty cool little kayak for it's it's built for beginners. Like I said, it's not for the seasoned angler. Um, I wouldn't want to use this Hobie Passport as my main uh, YouTube kayak because you know I need something more sturdy, and the Outback would do it for me. But then again, the Outback costs two times more than what this little kayak offers. There you have it. That's going to be it for today. Hopefully, uh, this this little passport has caught your interest because honestly. Frankly, it has caught my interest and um, I'm pretty excited to put it through its paces. Today's the first time and um, I'm going to try to take it out to the marsh and possibly maybe try to side cast some redfish with it. I'm not sure about the standability yet. I did try to stand up. It is a little bit tipsy and one thing I did notice it doesn't have the, the, um, the traction that my Outback does when you try to stand up. So that might be an issue, but uh, we'll see. If you like the video guys, hit that like button. If you haven't hit, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification too, uh, so you guys will know exactly when I will post a new video about the Hobie Passport. So yeah, there you go guys. It's built for the beginner kayaker, recreational, that you want to come out with your family, let the kids hang out, fish a little bit. <laughs> no, 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 let's practice first. Let's practice like in a pool and then I'll let y'all use it. Calm down, calm down, Joseph. <laughs>